as it is written, it uh, is pronounced Lyoch, but I know that old native Gaelic speakers from Torridon sometimes pronounce it Lyoch, where the T in the middle should be a G. Well, we're here in Torridon to climb one of Scotland's most picturesque and photogenic mountains, Lyoch. Yes, that's the mountain that you always see reflected in Loch Clare behind me on the cover of those calendars you get from the grocer at Christmas. Leoguch, it will say, in snowy winter's garb, or Leoguch, brushed by the late evening sunshine. <laughs> Where is it? But today, of course, it's Leogach and bogging miserable drizzle. However, we're still going to climb it with a song in our heart because those nice men and women at the Met Office assure us all this cloud will be lifting by lunchtime and we should get some sort of a view. Now, Leogach is one of three very exciting mountains in the Torridon region, the other two being Ben Allegan and Ben A. Leogach itself is two Munros joined by a rather scary ridge, the highest of the two peaks being 3,456 feet. We have quite a steep ascent to get onto the ridge. Leogach means the grey one. It's no relation, we just look a bit similar today and since it's so wet and unpleasant I think we'd probably better start. Now it's quite reassuring on such a steep ascent to have a well-trodden path and this one sticks close to a gorge with a dramatic tumbling burn. Well the Met Office will be hearing from my solicitors in the morning, they never mentioned cold and miserable. Well, the rather intimidating thing about Leoguch is the way it presents this rather impenetrable fortress of rock behind me. However, there's a way up it. It ingeniously takes us over that crest of rock and we get right up on top of the ridge. The way it's looking today, though, I wouldn't be surprised if there's pterodactyls circling up there. Well, all right, the Met Office were right. It's time to say goodbye to Mr Cagool because we've burst up through the cloud into clearer air and we're getting a fantastic view across to the ocean and also to Ben A. Strange, it only has one Munro and yet the ridge is about twice as long as Leoguch. Well, it's exaggerating a bit, but it's certainly longer. And there are two here. Why should this be? I don't know. I didn't make up the tables. It's uh, very busy up here today. We've been passed by a party of small school children, which is rather demoralising. So even though that top might well be like a Grange Hill, we're still going for it. It's in cloud at the moment, but we have faith. Well, we've made it to the top of the first Munro, Spiri and Achori Leoch. It's taken us two and a quarter hours and the views are staggeringly beautiful. For the geologists amongst you, incidentally, Leoch is made up of quartzite scree on top of Torridonian sandstone, which it's reputed is amongst the oldest in the world. Wait for this, it's 1,000 million years old. Can you imagine something older than a Radio 1 disc jockey? Anyway, to get to the next Munro, we have to cross those pinnacles you see behind me. Super scary, believe you me.
along the ridge you'll find detours along spurs of rock, some of which are brilliant vantage points to view the wild country lurking behind Liagach. That's the bypass path, and that's the crest of the ridge. The choice is yours. Well, this is us just coming up to the last of the Amphacerin and Pinnacles. That's all that lies between us and the relative safety of the second and last Monroe. And we've not been chickens this time, we've stuck exactly to the top of the ridge, because quite frankly, the path that bypasses it is as vertigo-inducing and as exposed as the ridge has been, so I think you're probably safer clinging to the rock. This is the first time I've actually done these Monroes with the ridge between them and Liagach, and I would not recommend it as a first Monroe. It's scary, it's very dangerous, and you do need a bit of mountaineering experience. back in your pockets now because there's no more scrambling or whimpering with terror. Just a fantastic walk up to the last Monroe. today it was hardly worth getting out of the car the weather was so miserable but now look at it so always listen to the weather forecast or you could waste a glorious day like this one we're on the last Monroe, it's Malachan Ran, 3,358 feet and because we've done this ridge walk east to west we're now enjoying the late evening sun sparkling behind me on Loch Torridon you can also see the hills of sky beyond and this is a lovely mountain, Ben Allegan. It's a bit dark just now. I did that in winter and it was superb. It has the famous horns of Allegan. Come this way, let me show you more. That's the coastline going up uh, past Badachro and Gearloch. You can just make out Loch Marie behind me. And if you come further round, you can see Sliach and Anchelach possibly poking through there. Now get a superb view of the whole Ben A ridge. And you can also see where we've just been. Ta-da! Liagach in all its glory. Beyond that, uh, Achnashin and the hills of Loch Caron. Round here on the other side of Loch Torridon, <laughs> falling off as I go, is uh, Ben Dam. It's a lovely little mountain. It's not a Monroe, but well worth doing. Well, we're just going to drop down a gully now, not literally, obviously, <laughs> but walking and taking great care and emerge uh, beside the youth hostel. It's been a fantastic day. The walk's not over, obviously. Coming down is sometimes harder than going up, but it's blustery, it's cold, and I'm looking forward to my tea.